Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm gonna do just a quick, simple one, two minute video on how to install MHD on your iPhone. Um, MHD just came out for the iPhone not too long ago for the iOS. So basically you have to update your Android device. Um, you have to, Andro not the Android device, you just have to update the MHD. Um, they updated to where basically the interface is different and then you can transfer your licenses back onto your iPhone. So I logged in already, I went ahead and did that. Um, now that we're logged in, we're gonna go into the car and all we have to do is log in with the iPhone in the car and uh, that's pretty much it. All right, so now that we updated the app on MHD in the, on the Android tablet, we're gonna try giving this a shot real quick, transfer everything. So um, here is the cable, the adapter that I'm gonna be using, it's the Wi-Fi cable because um, for right now, you're only, obviously for the iPhone, you only have this port, so you're gonna have to use Wi-Fi, which is why I have this uh, BeamerSense adapter. So, let's give this a shot real quick. Let's connect this, and I like this because on the F80s, it is tucked in, so I don't have to worry about anything else. Um, let me get this connected. We open the app. We are gonna log in now, so we're gonna log in, and like I said, we're gonna log in with Google. So that's what I used on my tablet. So sign with Google. All right, so I logged in. Um, I had already logged in previously before, so that's probably why. Um, license door. Let's give this a shot. All right, uh, we don't want to do the DME connected. This voucher will be redeemed for the last known vehicle and then the VIN. So please, uh, blah, blah, blah. so we're gonna understood. I logged in right here. Um, if you go to license store, it's probably gonna say redeem voucher. I don't have to do that because I already locked it in with my DME because it was already pre recently purchased. So super simple, like I said, <clears throat> we're gonna give this a shot. So I'm going to monitor real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna click on data logging and there you go. So seems to be good. Um, of course you can change these. Um, so these are all the options. Let's, I'm gonna have more. So let's just do real quick IATs. Um, and then you can also change it in here in options and I'm sure you can change it to how many. Uh, wow, there's a lot more settings than I thought. So I'll play around with this a little bit. This is the first time I'm pretty much using it. I just wanted to show you hands on. So if I turn it on. So that works. So simple. Um, like I said, probably the best thing that's ever come out for the iPhone in a while, especially because this is my phone that I use on a daily basis. So that was pretty much it for the um, FNG series. Like I stated, I do get my uh, new 335, which is going to be the new shop car. It's a single turbo build. Um, has a lot of goodies on it, but I'll explain that in another video because I'm gonna be doing a lot of YouTube now with this new car, um, try to show what the progress is, even though it has a lot of stuff done to it. So <clears throat> for the meantime, I'm gonna give the F80 a break. Um, again, MHD is out for the iOS, super simple to transfer the licenses. Um, as there's more stuff that goes on, I'll probably do more videos. I know there's um, something that, so since I am connected to the Wi-Fi with the Beamer Sense, which is in here, um, I know there's a way to make it so it doesn't recognize the internet connection. So that way you can still use the internet because I'm sure if I try to go onto some website right now, yep. So it's not working um, because it is still connected to the BeamerSense Wi-Fi and there is no internet on the BeamerSense Wi-Fi. This is gonna be the same with MHD or anything. So I know that there's a way to configure this um, inside of here. I will fix this um, in another video and I'll show you guys how to do that. That way you guys be connected to your car and still have internet like normal. So that's for the next video guys. Um, thanks for watching. Looking forward to posting more on YouTube.